Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Ejle Alin, this incarnation. I am here today to talk about the upcoming week. We are going to have an increase of Taurus energy, which is something very good because um, this is going to bring rebalance. We had excessive energy of fire, a lot of planets in areas which are linked with action and speed. The conjunction of Mars and, ne and Neptune in Pisces that is perfected uh, tomorrow or today in some places, um, it is associated with the energetical and spiritual plane. Taurus is reminding us that we are on Earth and it is a more a slower energy, uh, but Uranus is there. <laughs> so uh, this energy is, uh, Taurus is reminding us that spirituality should be descended and practiced in this plane, that the connection with the body and with the earth is very, very important. So we are going to be in touch and um, we are going to continue um, the contact with Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus, understanding that the matter is a means for the expansion of consciousness. This is what Jupiter and Uranus are telling us. And that when we can align ourselves with the purpose of the soul, we are not um, by doing something concrete in the matter. Uh, we are not only creating prosperity for us, we are collaborating with the prosperity of others. I mean, a world in which all can offer generously the talents and resources of the soul is a world where we are all doing this contribution of value for each other. So sustenance, infinite, the, the sustenance is infinite when we are connecting to light and to the function of the soul. But we have lived in a system in which, um, you know, the system was distorted and they they didn't educate people uh, to know this or to see the consciousness. So that's why we are here right now. We are doing this planetary transition to focus in creating new systems and to extend uh, the spirit and the consciousness to all orders. So um, continuing with this energy tomorrow, April uh, 29th, Venus is entering in Taurus until May 23rd. So uh, it is in its house. Uh, Venus here is very associated with enjoyment, with pleasure through the senses. And the other day I was explaining how, you know, it is a, a very old concept to think that pleasure is not something spiritual. Uh, but the, the duality of sex dreams are manifested when there is an attachment to pleasure. Um, we are going to get deeper during the week. So uh, this Venus also reminds us that abundance is a state of appreciation of what surrounds us and of what is valuable in ourselves, the, the enriching thing that each one of us has to offer. So mm, when we cannot perceive abundance or feeling deserve, uh, deservers, I don't know if that word is correctly, uh, that disconnects us from life, Taurus. Because if we observe, if you observe nature, the earth is infinitely abundant. What we are doing right now is reconfiguring the concepts of abundance and value. And this is going to continue. The changes are going to continue in, in big proportions. So um, individual, uh, individually and, and collectively. Uh, so this Venus, this Venus in Taurus, um, the, the focus uh, often is very linked with stability, stability in relationships, stability um, in, the, in the material plane also. But at the moment that this Venus enters in Taurus is going to create a square, a square with Pluto in Aquarius. Attention. So this is going to be perfected on May 1st, but we are going to feel it practically the whole week. And uh, this is linked with a transformation uh, to make the difference between stability and attachment. Uh, understanding stability as, a, as an inner connection that extends to the body. The body is very important in the process to create, um, to sustain ourselves along the, the, the processes because the only thing that is, um, uh, you know, constant is the change. So, um, this is also a transformation of those aspects of ourselves that are making us not feeling deserver, deserving. Uh, I don't know if that word, <laughs> I, I not remember the word right now. Uh, well, they are not making uh, us feeling that we deserve the desires of the soul. Precisely because we are not giving value to ourselves. This Venus in Taurus, uh, you know, 
knows very well that the value is not some, something that we say, that we, um, you know, just emanate from the words uh, to the outside. It is something that we show to ourselves concrete, in a concrete way, by the decisions, through the decisions that we take, through the ways that we are treating ourselves, through the ways that we are treating others too, and how we allow uh, others can uh, behave with ourselves, you know, the people that we let um, uh, enter in our lives. So um, this is going to bring the, the necessary death to those aspects that are not aligned with the version of ourselves that is giving love, you know, uh, love to ourselves. Uh, and, the, and this, of course, is translated to um, relationships because what we didn't learn to give to ourselves, we cannot give it to others. So um, it is also a transit to assume the power and make the changes and understanding that everything that we want to see materialized on the outside starts inside. Uh, relationship, re resources, I am repeating this, the body, all of these things are going to be very affected with this transit. It is attention. Uh, this means that could cause resistances, but all all that can present is uh, in order to make very profound and evolutionary changes. So beyond that, uh, the on, on May second, Pluto in Aquarius is starting its retrogradation until October eleventh until October 11th in Aquarius. Then it is going to move for the last time in many, many years to Capricorn. But, uh, well, this first phase um, is from May 2nd to uh, October 11th in Aquarius. So this is about going inwards and processing all, all the transformations we have experienced in 2024 because we had a lot of contacts with Pluto and Aquarius. And also when a planet starts its retrogradation and when it ends, uh, those are moments when we feel the, 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 the effects of the planet a lot. So it is going to put in evidence uh, in, in the Aquarius area of our natal chart uh, what we need to approach in a different way, you know, like breaking the 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 yeah the, the ways that others are doing that to find our genuine quality, our unique quality, because that creates inner freedom, that connects us with the inner freedom, even if doing that differently requires to confront fears, because Pluto is very associated with that. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, 30, April 30, Mars is entering in Aries. So we have two planets that are, uh, you know, entering in its houses. Uh, but one thing uh, that is important to mention is that in mathematical degrees, Mars it is, it is going to continue in, in orb with the conjunction of Neptune. So... Um, Mars here has a lot of impulse. Uh, it, it don't think twice, uh, you know, when, when it has to take an action, uh, goes for what it wants. But if there is no inner clarity, the actions could be very impulsive and very unconscious. So that's why the inner connection is very important. Uh, not only in this transit, this is for life, of course. <laughs> and in the collective level, this could be channeled in, in ways that maybe are not that positive, you know, from the dualities and, um, and the, the confronting, the, 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 this kind of things, violence. So um, the, more, the more individuals, uh, the more the, the individuals are practicing being conscious with ourselves, aware of ourselves, the more we have the opportunity to change the collective reality. So that's why uh, I always say that the, the the thing that we have the power right now to put the, the focus on is in the ways that we are operating. So um, why am I saying this? Because Mercury is also in, in areas. And this week, uh, this is going to be perfected, I think, in, in May. Um, in Sorry. Yeah, in May, in May 5th. Um, because it's going to activate the degree 19 of the eclipse and it's going to do uh, its last and uh, its third and last conjunction with Chiron in Aries. So 
uh, this is going to show us how we have processed the wounds that were shown since March, because the first conjunction uh, happened in March, at the end of March, in the eclipse, this was very, very visible. Um, but uh, this is showing us how we have processed those wounds. So reactivity could manifest in conversations. Uh, it is important to put um, healthy boundaries to the ways that we are expressing, to be aware of the ways that we are expressing to other people, to the entity that we give, to what other people say to us, uh, and to express, you know, in a healthy way in our relationships, uh, you know, the, the expressions that we don't like because we are feeling that aggressive or we are feeling, you know, in a in a way that it are not making us feeling comfortable. So uh, we can exp we can express that in a in a in a healthy way. And uh, remember that anger is an emotion that uh, don't need to be judged. It is simply showing us what we need and we can redirect that energy in a very productive way uh, to avoid, you know, projections with other people. We could ask a space if we are not feeling good in a, in a conversation. We can ask for a space to process our emotions. Uh, but it, it is important to take into account that other people could be very, um, very reactive to and projecting their own wounds and insecurities. To take in account um okay and the last thing i'm going to mention this very quickly because uh we are talking about this the next week it is going to be activated the the fourth um the on may 4th uh, saturn sorry the, the sun it is the transit i'm going to uh, put the blame on on the transit of neptune um the sun in Taurus is creating this sextile with Saturn in Pisces, and that is active uh, from the the uh, May four uh, May fourth. Sorry, so it is a, a harmonic aspect, uh, very very beautiful to align ourselves with the materialization of dreams of the soul or projects for the collective. Um, so uh, I am going to talk about this uh, the, the next week, but I wanted to mention just to um, be prepared. Okay, I am ending the video here. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next ones. Ciao, ciao.